Have you ever wondered exactly how much better APS-C style sensors are at capturing low light than micro four thirds? I was wondering that same thing when my Lumix G9 was giving me some issues shooting some low light photography for my Christmas village. I noticed at higher ISO levels the Lumix G9 was producing a lot more noise than the Sony A6400, so I wanted to do a test side by side to see exactly how they perform at the different ISO levels. To make the test as fair as I could, I used the fastest lens that I own for the Lumix G9, which is the Panasonic 25 millimeters with a 1.7 aperture. And for the Sony A6400, I used the Sigma 16 with a 1.4 aperture. And as you can see in these side-by-side -side photo comparisons, the Sony A6400 was able to do a much better job at higher ISO levels without having as much noise as the Lumix G9. So starting out at ISO 200, you have the Sony A6400 on the left, and the Lumix G9 on the right. And as you can see, the Sony A6400 is a lot brighter and clearer. So here we are at ISO 400. Again, the Sony A6400 is on the left, the Lumix G9 on the right. And here is ISO 800. And here is ISO 1250. And here we are at ISO 2500. Again, the Sony is obviously on the left. And lastly, I did ISO 3200, Sony on the left, Lumix on the right. Granted, the test isn't exactly fair, seeing as that I didn't have the same exact focal length for both of the lenses, with the Sigma lens being able to open to 1.4 and the Panasonic lens only being able to open to 1.7. But I think this gives you a good idea of what to expect with low light performance from both the Sony A6400 and the Lumix G9. They are both phenomenal cameras and I use them in different scenarios. If I want better image stabilization, if I was to do a vlog style video where I'm walking and talking at the same time, the Lumix G9 performs a lot better with stability than the Sony A6400. But for this contest, the Sony A6400 definitely wins out for low light. So if low light performance is important to you, I would definitely go with the Sony A6400. If you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing as I try to find the perfect camera gear for a beginner like me. God bless.